Good morning. I have uh, my Sato 50 here. This was the subject of uh, some videos I just did where I replaced the ring on it. Prior to that I had already replaced the bearings. So there are some videos on my YouTube page about me tearing this engine down, replacing the ring, and then putting it back together, setting the timing, and then adjusting the valve lash. Uh, because of the fact that these push rod covers were old and dry rotted and tore, I ended up having to make this an old school engine, so I've got the exposed rockers, exposed push rods, and I'm going to run it for the first time now since I've done this last uh, opening up, tear down and reassembly, and uh, putting a new ring in, so we'll see how it goes. She's really wet there. Now I'm going to set this engine really, really rich for the first tank here. to see how much smoke is, or exhaust is coming out because I've got it set really rich and you'll hear kind of blubbering. It's uh, obviously not set to peak because I want to try and do some run-in with this new ring. That's what a four-stroke sounds like when it's incredibly rich. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to lean it out now so you can see the difference in the amount of smoke or exhaust and the sound. how much the exhaust smoke decreased and how the sound of the engine picked up in RPM, I was getting near the peak.
pretty much the end of the tank there. So as you can see, this is a really nice running engine. Started on the first flip, I believe it was. Pretty warm now. I probably shouldn't have leaned it out so much on that first run, but because when you put a new ring in there, you really should kind of try basically do another small break-in of the engine. And I ran it for, I don't know, a minute or two there at a low RPM. The next tank, I'm going to run at a considerably lower RPM. I'm going to let it cool down because it's rather warm. But you could see the difference between a really rich setting and then uh, considerably leaner, or pretty much a peak setting. Now, I would never set my four-stroke engines on the ground to be peaked like that. I like to go about... 1,500 to 800 RPM or so below peak on the ground so that you can adjust or compensate for leaning in flight. Uh, but you can see that's a pretty darn nice running engine. When it cools down, I'll fire it up and run it again.